Hello everybody. Time for a second video from Rocky Hollow Force Camp. I'm actually shooting these out of sequence because I just arrived here. I had just enough time to set my tent up, grab something to eat, and I'm walking up one of the horse trails because it is a little after 7.30 and moonrise today is at 7.50. So I want you to try to catch the moonrise tonight and tomorrow with the I mean, the sun's there, there behind me, but I uh, want to see with all the smoke from the western wildfires if it's going to make the sky a little oranger at night, if it's going to, <clears throat> or at sunset, if that's going to affect the moonrise or not. So we're off to another place here. I'm going to pan around. You can see this field here. So I've been out here before taking sunrise photos, kind of in that direction. A little further ways up the path so we'll get to my spot and set up okay I've climbed almost up to the top of this little hill here uh, I've never been up this far on this hill before I can still see the path where I came from but I found a nice area where the the grass isn't so tall around it but uh, good get a chance to look at this view here so I got my camera set up about uh, five minutes away from the moonrise. But I'm not sure exactly where the moon's going to rise tonight. I don't have the app on my phone. And uh, data won't reach up here. We're just too far out in the boonies. But uh, sunrise is usually right in there this time of year. Uh, July part of the year. But uh, swing around some more. And that peak off in the distance there, I believe that's Mount Rogers. So that's what we're beside right now, the uh, Mount Rogers recreation area. So let's give this a couple minutes here and uh, see what the moon's going to look like. And also, the sunset's about 8.30, a little after 8.30, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get a good sunset from here, from this vantage point or not. But uh, we'll give it a try. It appears I have some visitors now. Some cows have wandered up, so I'm just going to politely get out of their way, let them graze. I'm going to go back down toward the trail a little bit, and I still should be able to see the moon when it comes up. All right, I pretty much think that the because of the haze and some of the clouds and stuff, probably not going to see the moon for a while, so we're not going to get a good moon rise. Uh, so I've switched over, put on my wide-angle lens, uh, I'm going to see what happens right at sunset here, um, and then also the, the cows are creeping ever closer here. I think they must be curious or something, but they're they're staying away. Uh, sun isn't quite quite down yet, so still got a couple ways to go till official sunset. But I think it's going to dip behind the trees way before sunset here. So I'm going to keep my eye out here just to see. See what the, the sky does, what the colors do. Uh, you can see part of the shadow is already starting to creep up on the the trees in front of me here. So uh, we'll just uh, see what happens and make the most of it. All right, looks like tonight's probably a bust. Uh, lost all the light coming back over here. Um, there's hardly any clouds on the sunset. Just a few high wispy clouds. It's probably not going to do too much in the way of uh, any color or anything like that and uh, cows are still getting closer so I'm gonna try it again tomorrow night like I said this a little bit later time for moonrise maybe a few different conditions out here so we'll give it a try all right it's day two uh, it's actually this is actually the day of the full moon which i looked it up it's, uh, the july moon full moon is the buck moon uh, it's named for that because that's when the male deer is full growth mode on their antlers um, and there's lots of stories on the internet right now about saying hey it might be really really red because of the forest fires and the smoke from that and on the west coast coming over to the east coast so we'll see i've actually picked out a different spot tonight i'm i'm still in the campground i didn't go across the street to where the big cow pasture is and I'm 
behind the house where the uh, the owner of the campground lives. And uh, actually, right now, I started hearing some sound like buzzing around me. I looked up, and there's uh, a bunch of uh, hummingbirds flying around and stuff. So, so I hear them buzzing around, and uh, I, I hear them uh, squawking and stuff. So, I uh, don't know if I'll get one on a on a picture or not because it's getting getting a little too dark to get a good picture. There's not a lot of light around. So, uh, like I said about. Uh, 840 something is when moonrise is supposed to be I uh, did see it last night it was real orange when I finally saw it maybe around nine o'clock or so uh, but that's when it was already up quite a bit but uh, should have a good view here behind me of everything like that got the camera set up ready to go just waiting on it to rise all right I got about five minutes or so before moonrise depending upon how it comes up over the mountains here and uh, what I've already gone done I set my camera up uh, to get a picture of the moon and the moon in detail. I've got it set for F11, ISO 100, and manually putting the shutter speed to 1 100th. Uh, and I'm also going to bracket the photos, probably plus and minus three stops on each. I'm going to start out with that, see how it looks. And then I've got it set for remote. So I'm using the infrared remote, and I'm having it lift the mirror before it takes a picture. So all that's going to take out any movement on the camera or anything like that I've got it set on the tripod as you saw before uh, so like I said we're still looking out there uh, sunset has already happened so it's about 10 minutes after sunset is when moonrise is supposed to happen so just waiting for it I think it's gonna be about in that area based on what I saw last night so but I don't know if you can tell in this, uh, there's quite a few mountain peaks in there uh, going back, uh, heading in that direction, kind of toward east, northeast there. So uh, we'll see. Give it another 10, 15 minutes here, and we should probably start seeing the, seeing the moon. All right, I've had to get the light because it's come out. It's dark, dark now. It took a lot longer than expected for the moon to pop above the clouds. Uh, it's about almost 9.15 now, and it is like really, really orange. Um, I've changed my setup on that. I just went ahead and went uh, straight aperture priority. And uh, I had to bump it up to ISO 400 to get my shutter speed up a little bit because it was just really going like over 30 seconds on the shutter speed. Uh, so I was way too much. Um, but let me turn the light off and show you what we got right now. All right. There's how it looks through the live view. Uh, what I'm doing is kind of zooming in here and uh, doing a manual focus on it. So we've got the manual focus there. Uh, of course on the thing here, it looks like it's just a dot. So press it once. Another gun time it lifts the mirror. It's taking the picture. Should be about 11 seconds. There it is. Performing a noise reduction. And there's the photo. Click it back on here. So, let's see here. Let's see if I can zoom into it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, the moon's a little washed out because it's a little too bright. All right, and we got some movement on it. So I'm going to increase my shutter speed just a little bit to stop that movement and hopefully not get the moon as All bright. Right. Finished taking pictures of the moon. I'm back in the tent. I think I've got one or two really good ones, maybe three good ones on there. So I'll share them at the end of the video. Uh, like I said, thanks for watching on this. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, pass it along to your friends. And uh, I'll also post information about Rocky Hollow Horse Camp. So, um, like I said, they kind of cater to if you're riding a horse, uh, but there's a lot of places to hike around here and stuff like that. So, uh, the campsites, you got water, electric hookup, stuff like that. So, if you got a trailer, uh, come in. It's, uh, it's a pretty decent place for that. Uh, but uh, I'll add that information into the description on there. So, thanks again.